In less than a week, Cindy and I will be down at the Grand Bahia Principe Ocumal All-Inclusive Resort in the Riviera Maya. And one of the things we look forward to is to go snorkeling. Now, I gotta tell you, Cindy and I were out yesterday and I was talking really excited about our new video camera that's arrived because it has a built-in light on it and it fits into our underwater case and the light works even in the case. So it's gonna allow us to eliminate the fish underwater and probably get a lot more sharper and clearer images of them. And then Cindy started talking to me about, did I use her video she shot at the Grand Bahia Principe of the permit? And I think I might have used them sometime, but I wasn't sure. So I went and looked through our files, and these videos were shot by Cindy of Permit at the Grand Bahia Principe. Now, Permit are a very popular game fish. They're found from Massachusetts all the way down to Brazil along the Atlantic coast, and uh, people spend a lot of money to go and seek them out. And the reason Cindy was excited about these fish is that she says they were huge. She figures anywhere between uh, five and 10 pounds, the size of a medicine ball in roundness. Just great big fish and she was allowed to get really close to them she was just following right behind them watching what they do and I was reading on wiki about them and uh, they're bottom feeders feeding on shrimp shrimps crustaceans crabs all these different things and then I came across something that was really uh, a little bit exciting because what it says is that permit are usually found in shallow tropical waters such as the flats, channels and muddy bottoms. They are usually seen as individuals or in small schools. If approached when alone, they attempt to escape human interaction which these didn't, but if approached one in a school formation, they become aggressive and can deliver a dangerous bite. Now, I never would have imagined, but when you see their mouth, I mean, if these fish turn on you and bite, they could probably take off a little pinky. I mean, if they got uh, jaws strong enough to uh, crush crab shells and stuff like that, well, you never know. But that's the thing, you never know. Like, we didn't know about this. So I'm thinking to myself that we are really lucky that in all the encounters we had, I mean, just a couple of days ago here in British Columbia, where maybe uh, five meters away, 15, 20 feet away from a black bear feeding on a kokanee salmon that it caught in the stream, filming him, you know, for quite a while. That we're really lucky we haven't had a worse encounter that, than we've had. I mean, they've always been very safe and, uh, like I said, fortunately very lucky that we haven't had some animals decide that they didn't care to be filmed or photographed or whatever. And uh, this even happened like when we were traveling through Florida because we came across these big insects, they're grasshoppers, and even their skin has a toxicity to it, which we didn't know, and we're filming them. And and uh, Cindy even, I think, had one on her hand. And uh, they don't always put out that stuff, but they can. And then at other times, we've come across snakes. Now, uh, this happened in uh, uh, Puerto Vallarta when we were up in the Sierra Nevadas. And it's happened in the Caribbean. We've come across snakes in uh, Dominican Republic. And uh, like I said, I, I think we've just been very fortunate and lucky. But the point of all this is that there's so much beauty in our world, and yet we know so little about it. Like everyone knows that a lionfish is venomous, and when you encounter one, you don't touch it, you don't uh, try and hold it or anything like that, because those spines, like you see there, do carry a venom that is very harmful. Or the sea urchins, you see underneath the rock there and on top of it, you don't want to step on them because those spines break off in your foot or, what, or if you handle it in your hand, and it's very difficult to remove. But there's other things that are dangerous out there and we should always be careful and leave things alone if you don't know what it is.